Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro, and it's time for BAFTA Predictions 2024 nominations. Let's just kick it off, get right into it with Best Film. We know Oppenheimer's winning, we know Killer's getting nominated, we know Poor Things is getting nominated. Like, holy shit, we, do we know that? Yeah. Barbie, I'm gonna put it at number four, even though I think it's, like, definitely getting nominated. You expressed, like, a little bit of doubt. Yeah, and I'm, I don't I'm, really I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because, you know, they didn't share the passion for, like, Top Gun, Maverick, or, like, Avatar. Not that they would really expect it to. Top Gun Maverick was not contending across the board the way Barbie is, yeah. though. I, I, I get it, okay? I know it's not the same movie, but, you know, there's a lot of options here, and I feel like Barbie is less secure than the top three. The top three feel, like, completely immovable. I don't think that's even worth consider entertaining. As much as this fifth slot is difficult to decide because, you know, only five slots and so many, so many wonderful films here. Mm -hmm. All of Us Strangers got ten short lists. Okay. It did well. I think it's gonna I have a good day. That. I think it's gonna get some acting noms, like three, plus, three or four, and screenplay. But I don't know if it's gonna get director. And I mean, they have another British film here, The Zone of Interest, right? I mean, sometimes they decide like that they like a movie way more than you thought, like Mauritanian and oh, Nocturnal I Animals. I fucking forget every Animals week too. that Mauritanian got. I know. Yeah, it got like a ton. Nocturnal Animals missed picture, didn't it? it? Got nine nominations and not best picture. I think Maestro won't get in the five. It did well on the long list, but yeah. I, I just don't think it's a, it's a yeah. top five movie. Past Lives, part of me thinks that like it, it does make sense to squeeze into a, a line of yeah. a five just because some people like it so much. But I think the problem is that it's not going to contend in a ton of categories. It's not one of those yeah. movies that's up for casting and editing like other movies are. Holdovers is not up for editing. I don't know how much it says, but if we're looking for little clues, like, you know, most people don't have the feeling that Holdovers is going to get in this five, but... Holdover is very strong. It's actually one of the movies that's like more guaranteed to have, you know, one plus Oscar wins. It's also a movie everybody likes. I mean, it's shaping up to be a top five Oscar contender, though. It's hard to not put the holdovers in here. I don't and think it's that hard. I think the bat. I don't know BAFTA like. I feel like it's convenient like it's to be like, yeah, it's not that hard. Just don't put it in. No, I, I, I mean, think that's fine. I just need to see you struggling with it a little bit. I'm struggling with other things more, and I know that these films haven't been you know, very top five feeling, but Anatomy and Zone, like, I yeah. think one of them's gonna break in. I just, I just think that BAFTA show, has shown that they watched them, they were enthusiastic about them, and here they are. Zone of Interest has 10 shortlist mentions, and Anatomy yeah. Falls has like seven. And it's also like it's also their British film this year. I mean, obviously I don't know it's... if they feel more like pride about it because it's like their submission to the Oscars. I don't know really know if that matters. And then you no. have Anatomy of a Fall, which, you know, last year they went nuts for All Quiet as if it was one of their own. I think that, you know, they feel maybe a little more connected to, like, other European films over there. Mm -hmm. Zone, though, like, that is a movie that a lot of people think is, like, a top five of the year, whereas Anatomy mm -hmm. of Fall, to me, seems like it, it's a lot of people's, you know, five to ten slot for best of the year. I feel like this is a consensus top five. It's not. Wrong. It's not. Gold Derby thinks it's Anatomy of a Fall over Zone. Oh, I see. But they have Anatomy of a Fall at four. Some people are very confident. And look, it is nominated in casting and editing. And it could win screenplay. It's also been sweeping the International Feature Awards. Yeah. So, I mean, when you put those things together, like, that that's a good case. Especially, mm -hmm. like, the, that it may win screenplay here. Literally, a coin toss, I don't know what to do. I don't like to have to, like, claim that I need to be right here. But mm. maybe I can give the zone of interest the UK edge. But I'm also trying to be weird that I'm being biased. Because I think the movie, I'd be so happy to see it. Are you sure that given, you know, an Anatomy and Zone's inevitable presence at BAFTA, inevitable presence, like probably popping up in director each, don't you feel like maybe that it could squeeze something out that you're not expecting? You really think it's only, we're only negotiating one slot here? I can't comprehend that, that the others would miss. And I don't think BAFTA's that crazy <clears throat> where like if there's a movie that's just yeah. gearing to, to be one of the top, top Oscar contenders that they miss it. I think Zone might have the edge because it's more people's number one of the year. British film, I'll just list them off because it doesn't matter. Poor Things, Zone of Interest, All of Us Strangers, Saltburn, How to Have Sex, Wonka. Those should be uncontroversial because they perform very well on the sh long lists. I think Rye Lane will be in there, which mm. did about as well as How to Have Sex. The Old Oak, that's Ken Loach. That's their buddy. That's their guy. One Life is like awards baity enough. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins is on the supporting actor list. And I have Scrapper, which seemed to be in like the debut category. I think it got a director long list, so mm. I put that in there. And that's why I why I have the things I have. Debut, How to Have Sex, Riley and Scrapper. Earth Mama, I guess. And then I have Bobby Wine, the Preeple's president, because they, they will nominate a documentary, and that's the one I've heard of the most. Oftentimes they'll throw in shit I haven't heard of, so I, you know, what am I gonna do? I don't know how to predict this thing. Film not in the English language. 
You gotta go with Anatomy of the Fall. I did list Anatomy of a Fall over Zone of Interest for this category. I know, I know that's the thing. But maybe that's not true because but why wouldn't they why wouldn't they give it to a UK film, right? I think they're both very close. It just it's gonna depend what gets best film. I it? am I am going with the Golden Globes here. <laughs> Society of the Snow and Fallen Leaves. Society of the Snow has been doing very well on Netflix and has been getting great audience scores as well as critic scores. But they did not shortlist it anywhere. No text for this movie, which I was surprised by at the Baptist. You know, Fallen Leaves has been doing well, too. So I'm sure many people think The Taste of Things has a shot. And I think that maybe you could see that or The Teacher's Andre or The Eight Mountains show up. But mm. the other five are doing very well this season. So I don't have a reason to say that this isn't the five. Documentary, 20 Days of Mariupol. American Symphony. I don't know. What, what if American Symphony is too American for them? Hey, that could happen. I guess so. The Deepest Breath counts as a British film, so I'm putting that Well, they put that in, they shortlisted that for, yeah. Yeah. The Michael J. Fox movie, it's been getting in everywhere. Beyond Utopia, I'm fine with that. I mean, those are kind of the the five highest profile docs here. Animated film, Boy and the Heron, Spider-Verse, Chicken Run. Those are getting in. That's top three. And then you have one more slot. Chicken Run, I'm so confident. Chicken Rugged is happening. They always, they're (laughs) going to go with the studio. They're going to go with their claymation. Now, the question is, Elemental, Nimona, or Ninja Turtles? Or maybe Mario. Elemental had a big miss at the Annie's. An insane miss. Because the Annie's will nominate, similar to BAFTA, actually. The Annie's will nominate Pixar, like, basically always. So I don't know if that's going to repeat at the Oscars. I don't know if it's going to repeat at the BAFTAs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though, pundits have been underestimating that all year. It did miss the uh, Golden... Oh, yeah, yeah, You said, where are my Ninja Turtles? Yeah, yeah, that was the Golden Globes, yeah. I almost want to try to predict Ninja Turtles to be like, hi, I told you. I don't know. You don't think it's going to happen here? Well, they could do Elemental. It could just be easy. Like, that's that's kind of, like, easy to say that they do Elemental. Oh, right, because it's four films. The only problem is that Annie's snubbed it. I don't know if I care enough. I feel like Elemental, yeah, just, say, Elemental. just based on their history, I mean, you, you could have said the same about the Annie's, but I don't have a reason to believe they're being the same. Nimona is actually number four in Gold Derby, funny enough. <laughs> oh, well, you can predict that. Why not? I don't know Riz why it's in it. He's British. I don't still know if Nimona's like... Darn, isn't that doing really well? It is. It hasn't missed a beat. It'd be kind of interesting. I mean, I guess that's why Gold Derby's doing Why not? It's Elemental missed Annie and Ninja yeah. Turtles missed Golden Globe. Yeah, you can do it. You just do it. Gold I've Derby's just never doing. thought of Nimona as being a I feel them. like this is the kind of thing where Gold Derby's just going to know. Although for many groups, it seems like Ninja Turtles is like maybe a top three. All right, best director. We're back into the fun categories. Oppenheimer, obviously. Scorsese, obviously. Lanthimos Mr. is getting in. That's I, and I'm pretty goddamn sure that Glazer's getting in. Because yeah. holy shit, if he didn't get in, oh my god, that would be that, it, would, it would make it hard to predict him if he didn't get in. He's the mo- he's the reason the movie is British. Yeah, and yeah. I also know that the anatomy of a fall people who are predicting that you know to overperform the Oscars are looking here for Justine Trier to get a nomination, and I think that. Is a, that could definitely happen. She could definitely pop up here and then people go, oh my God, it's happening at the Oscar. Because they really go international with, with this category and because it's partly a jury selecting it. This is actually the most jury category because this is top two get nominated and then the jury selects four. So this is a heavily, heavily influenced mm. category now. The fact they nominated like Decision to Leave and Teton, like, yeah. They're Look, gonna, they're I gonna think, nominate both Anatomy and I know, Zone. I know okay? they're gonna That's nominate gonna Justine Trier. Yeah, like she yeah. is gonna get in here. Barbie could make it off of being a top two. What? Not joking. Oh yeah, they no. could, that could be a top two. Why not? I don't think so for, for the regular Academy. No, Barbie's big. Don't tell me it's a top not. two for director. Why not? I don't know. If, if Gerwig makes it else? into the Oscar, I'm gonna think she's number two to win. I know it'd be weird, but I could see them exchanging Gerwig for like past lives. I do agree though that past lives is the one that I'm watching out for. For the, yes. the jury to pick Celine's song. I could see them doing Andrew Hay for all the strangers as well. I could see him being a pick. Maybe. Everything else though, I don't have a good feeling about. Like I don't think that they're gonna go crazy and do like the director of how to have sex or Rye Lane, like that'd be that'd be a little yeah. out, and and also lately, like the first year the jury happened, it was insane, and every year since then, it's been a little bit more tame with the juried categories. Original screenplay, I think Anatomy of a Fall might win. Barbie's getting nominated. The Holdovers will be nominated. Past Lives will be nominated. 
And then it's really up to you to say what the fifth slot is. I believe Gold Derby has Saltburn. I understand. Mm. Saltburn got a lot of the long a list, lot of got 11, but it didn't make film. And so I'm not really sure why people have it over Maestro. I mean, look, I know that Maestro feels like kind of weak in screenplay. People thought that the Fablemans was really weak at BAFTA and they still nominated it in screenplay. I might just predict Maestro. Like I get that Saltburn's British, but if they liked it so much, they could have nominated it in best film. You uh, really think it'd be Saltburn for screenplay though? They like the movie and, and that's kind of where you'd nominate it, right? Is it? If you like the movie, you'd be like, oh yeah, like that was funny and a dark comedy <laughs> and I feel like twists. But people have the problem with the story, if anything, they like it visually. Yeah, well that's why I'm putting Maestro in. Air hasn't performed as well as we thought. No, so I'm the like, Baptists eh. don't give a fuck about Air. And and May December, that, that didn't perform May like, December, super they well they hated May December. My god, they hated yeah, it. Yeah, this is the five, honestly. Say hi to May December getting blanked at guilds and BAFTA and having mm. no industry support. I love that for it. I'm what, so what if happy it gets about it. The, oh yeah, it might just get screenplay at the Oscars. Uh, adapted screenplay. I think it's going to be between Poor Things and Oppenheimer for the win. So even though American Fiction took Critics' Choice, you don't think that could pull off like a Coda style win where it gets not best film but then wins? It wasn't even long listed. I know, but neither was Coda. Or oh no, Coda was long listed, but it was 15. You know, some people don't even have it in, in screenplay. In fact, Gold Derby has the zone of interest because hmm. I think All the Strangers is getting in. I think that's more likely as a screenplay movie yeah. than Zone of Interest. Yeah, I think so. I do see how the Zone of Interest could be a screenplay movie, but <sighs> I actually kind of agree. I might actually agree with Gold Derby that the Zone of Interest might perform really well, and it could get just get screenplay director picture, and you'd be like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, but I feel like American Fiction I trying to squeeze are... American Fiction in there when they didn't like it. It's like trying to put vegetable feed vegetables to a baby. Can I tell you something that happened last year? Remember when everybody thought that. After Sun was going to beat the Fablemans here. Mm -hmm. I said, no, it won't. Yeah. I said, the Fableman, they, I said, when you look at what they do, they just nominate what they're supposed to. That's why I think, and American fiction's strong in screenplay. Like, that's, that's where it's strong. I'm kind of eating my words from the last category and saying that a movie that's not in the 10 is going to beat out a movie that I think is going to get in the five. But I don't know. This is also just, it's just a feeling I have that like, People are people can underestimate if they want, but I feel like American fiction is going to get actor and screenplay at BAFTA. I actually think I disagree with you about American fiction. I don't know why. That's fine. Everybody yeah. does. Lead actress. We got Emma Stone in Poor Things, who I think is going to win. You got Lily Gladstone. She's going to be nominated. Sandra Huller, definitely getting nominated. Oh my God. Greta Lee. I think Greta Lee's getting nominated. I think the jury's mm -hmm. going to pick her up. Yeah. Just like they did with the Minari cast, even though that was, didn't make the uh, best film 15, which mm. was insane. Margot Robbie and Carrie Mulligan are obviously like, you know, the, the top contenders here overall. But what we know is that the jury selects three of the performances. And last year they left out Michelle Williams for the Failmans, leaving everybody to say, well, she doesn't have SAG or BAFTA. I'm not predicting her. And then I predicted her. Margot Robbie seems like a contender to just kind of miss because she's not in the top three and then the jury doesn't really care that much. And who the jury could pick, I feel like there's a very easy contender here. Mia McKenna-Bruce. And mm -hmm. Gold Derby is sensing this as well. Really? By the way, this is Gold Derby's top six. Yeah, I think if you see and How to Have Sex, you, you know that she's like a standout. Oh yeah. Fantasia Brino, no. Vivian yeah. O'Para, I don't see it as much. Yeah. Annette Benning, eh. Carrie Mulligan, though, like, I don't know if her being British helps, but uh, they liked Maestro enough where I'm not going to say that she misses. Lead actor. This one I have a hard time with a little bit. We know Killian Murphy's in. We know Paul Giamatti's in. We know Bradley Cooper's in. And we know Andrew Scott's in. That's all yeah. we know. That's yeah. all we know for sure. I think Jeffrey Wright will be in. He might be a jury save. I mean, it's they only select three. Is DiCaprio in? I'll say this. How did DiCaprio that, get nominated for Don't Look Up? Oh, that was did, wild. Did the jury do that? Because they but, but probably we, did. When we were puzzling, like, how did this happen? Like, did the jury do it? It was like, I don't know. It, felt like, a, it felt like a pointless game. Right. That's the weirdest thing ever to me. It doesn't make any sense. I do think that, like, him not campaigning for this movie is going to be his detriment because I can mm -hmm. see him missing the Oscar for, like, an Andrew Scott or a Coleman Domingo. You know what would be a great thing? Teo U. If, te if the jury saved Teo U, and they could. And they could. They could they could also pick Coleman Domingo and Rustin or Barry Keoghan and Saltburn. I mean, they love Barry Keoghan. That's what I'm going to Don't you forget. I was going to say. Don't Calm you forget. Horses. Yeah, I know. Oh, Calm with Horses. And they gave oh, him an fuck. award last Shit. year. I'm putting him in. I'm putting him over DiCaprio? Yeah, you can do that. People will say, people well, know DiCaprio like, got in for Don't Look Up. How does he miss for this? And I, I don't have to give, you, I don't have to so give you an answer. It was so random I don't have that he got in for Don't Look Up that you could just do it. He's their favorite little boy, even though he's not actually a boy. Supporting actress, Davine Joy Randolph. Getting in, Emily Blunt, absolutely. Rosamund Pike is going to get in. That's that's cool. 
And it's going to make people predict the Oscar. It could happen. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen. I always sort of felt like that could happen. Look, Sandra Hoare for Zone of Interest. I think sure. I think sure. I think not 100%, yeah. but I think likely. I'm feeling that too. I, I really think Sandra Huller is going to get two nominations here. Because yeah. they're going to love both her movies. And then what's going to happen is people they're, are going to think gonna that start she's predicting getting the Oscar. Oscar. You know, people are already doing it. Claire Foy is going to get nominated. That'd be you nice. So? I, th- I do think so. I think All of Us Strangers is going to do very well. And that makes a lot of sense. How does she not get nominated for that? I'd be shocked if she didn't. You'd be shocked? They really liked that movie. It was it got ten lists, and she's well, great in it. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going and, and see if I, okay. we can find anything else. I think Daniel Brooks will be once again the low nomination for the color purple. I don't know if it's once again. She's it's, she's you know. remaining in despite the color purple falling. So like, I'm I'm inclined to just say sure. America Forever for Barbie. I don't see it here. Yeah. Look, you never know what could happen with the jury, but Julianne Moore. I think that they hate May December, and I'm not considering her. No. Jodie yeah, Foster for Nyad, I think she may miss here. Kara Jade Myers, now that could it's be compelling to me. An interesting because jury it's, pick because the jury, like they want, they want to think a little outside the box. They're probably like, "Ooh, this is a little juicy." Like this was a good performance. If I were a voter and this is my like shortlisted category, I might stick her in there. I'll tell you this Why though: not? if she got longlisted for that movie, everybody would start to say she's Marina de Tavira immediately, and they really? would think that they're really clutch for doing it. And I would still <laughs> say I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's quite there. And yeah. also, Oscar voting just ended, so this wouldn't like boost her. But it is an interesting prospect for the jury, and she was very good in the movie. But I think the top six just feels more safe. You know, you got your British faves in, you got your Sandra Hulers in, you got your Rosamund Pikes in. Like, it makes I'm sure sense. like America Ferrera couldn't just be like a nonsense like her her appear her spottiness would like why would i predict something that doesn't make sense well i know ha- that things that don't make sense can happen at the baftas with the jury but i'm not yeah. going to predict them to happen i'm trying to be five right. out of six here and by the way last year we did pretty good last year we were like we predicted <laughs> daryl mccormick and we and we and we predicted <laughs> albrecht shush and we were oh on the money in some of these categories a little bit this is this is an okay process for me supporting actor yeah, your jury cat now this one's the, the five and six is fun in this one because i know exactly what or the six and seven is fun in this one robert downey jr ryan gosling Robert De Niro. I mean, look, maybe Robert De Niro gets, sits this one out. Like, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. I could see him being a not like, like not the top three, and the jury says nah. But anyway, let's just for now assume, assume that because he got in everywhere, there's no fine. reason to doubt it. Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. The more I think about it, I think his SAG snub is just a fluke. Oh yeah, it it seems the like the more a fluke. you think about it's it, I think it's kind of obvious. Yeah, and he doesn't compete with Willem Dafoe here. Willem Dafoe, no, he does not. Listed. That's exactly why it's easy to say he's in. Then you have Paul Mescal in All of Us Strangers, who has been getting more attention than Jamie Bell, but Jamie Bell's also here. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see them both nominated in a way. Yep, I would. Yep. And Jamie Bell's great in the movie. So, yep. and he has like that one scene, right? He's got a total Oscar scene. Yeah, I was tweeting with having him and Paul Mescal in, <laughs> both of yeah. them. And then I'm saying. All of Us Strangers gets four acting nominations and nothing else does. Yeah. That's, um, that'd be amazing. Yeah. At that point, I would literally consider if Claire Foy is getting nominated for the Oscar. But I don't know if I can do that. And there's another juicy option here. There's only one juicy option here. Jacob Elordi, no. Ben Wishaw, no. He didn't even get nominated for Women Talking last year. We thought that would happen. Anthony Mm -hmm. Hopkins... Be weird if he did. W- would it be that weird if Anthony Hopkins was nominated? Because he's really good in the movie. I know, but I think it'd be weird. But can we deny it? Can we I deny just think it? it'd be weird because. But can we deny it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. De- I'm, but I, he's Britain's I, I, finest. I put, Why do you think he's here? He's one of Britain's finest. He's the only. He's thing knighted. For the movie. He's the only thing for the movie. Dominic Sessa. Look, they they nominated Woody Norman. I mean, Alan Kim, and they will go out for younger performances, yeah. especially the jury. Yeah. Especially the jury. I feel like he makes a lot of sense for like a lone BAFTA nomination. Yeah. <laughs> like in a Woody, a Woody Norman. It, if it you took will. three years to like make that make sense and to, to go through this process <laughs> enough times, but like to say that Dominic Sessa makes sense for a lone yeah. BAFTA nomination. I think a lot of people are gonna predict him. And I think he's I think that this is the gold derby top six right here. The question is like, do I leave out Jamie Bell? Because I, I, I do think out. that, you know, Paul Meskel is like the it boy, too. I think that there he's definitely more likely than Jamie Bell. But I feel like they could both go along. And maybe somebody gets snubbed. But I just don't know. I feel like this is a good six to have. Casting? I'm going to go nuts here. I'm going to go well, nuts you have, here. Well, you have permission to do Can that. I tell you why I will go nuts here? Because they never, they always There's been a very consistent streak that they nominate one film that's in SAG Ensemble. Mm. Last year, it was so fucking tempting to do two. Do you know why it was tempting to do two? Because it was everything, everything everywhere, everywhere was there. And Banshees was there. And they didn't nominate and West, Banshees. Or no. They didn't nominate Banshees. Yeah. 
Wait, I wait. don't understand. Wait, it. what did they nominate? Everything Every- Everywhere. Really? They are fucking wow. weird. And because, and that, you know why? Because this category is five out of five jury. Yeah. That's why it's a weird ass category. And so I'm going to go and say that Oppenheimer's the one SAG Ensemble nominee here. And it doesn't have to be the winner. Last year was the first year that it was the winner. You're not going to put it in. Wait, Cole. I want you to think about you, this. You can you can make cases for things. I want you to think about this. Sure. What? None of these casts have like significant diversity except for Killers of the Flower Moon. I mean, okay, maybe Killers gets in and Oppenheimer's not, but that'd be weird as hell. Mm-hmm. All of us strangers, how to have sex, because I feel like they actually like, you know, casting like younger new talent, and that's what how to have sex did. So who knows if Maestro could get in because they actually do like oh. Ooh, I should predict Maestro. They like it when 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 somebody's doing a transformation. Look, Elvis won. Joker won. They like biopics, right? King Richard's here. I'm going to predict Maestro. <laughs> I could see Killers being it instead of Oppenheimer. But usually there's many Best Picture nominees in here. There's three Best Picture nominees. Oh, you mean at the Oscars? Yeah. This is three Best Picture nominees. And this is th- four Best Picture nominees. Oh, yeah. I don't have enough Best Picture nominees. <laughs> if you're, well, ha! So, yeah. Wait, so, you so have if you're going to no, that's a... Bitch, I know what to do. Cool. Salt Burnout. Maestro yeah. in. So Why not is. Anatomy of a Fall? Oh! Anatomy of a Fall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Anatomy of a Fall. No, 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 seriously. Anatomy Wait, of a Fall uh, actually has like a really good cast when you think about it. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, well, I know it does. And there's a dog in it. There's a kid in it. There's a kid in it. <laughs> if you get five out of five. After, son. If I get five out of five, then I've <laughs> mastered the, most the category. category yet. Maestro makes sense because it's getting nominated for Best Picture and it doesn't have sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, why, that's the correlation. Yeah, here. which there's, a, there's an enormous correlation. Cinematography. This one's so fun. Uh, Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things. A lot of people are trying to predict a Maestro snub. I don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> they liked Maestro. They liked it. All right. Well, so, Maestro is hard to snub in cinematography. I and mean, then the zone of interest, everybody's expecting and waiting. Here's the problem, though. The British Society of Cinematographers nor the American Society of Cinematographers nominated the nominated zone of interest. Yeah. So although I'm like, I've been like waiting out on BAFTA to like do this for a long mm-hmm. time... I'm a little concerned, but and, and Saltburn is a pretty compelling option. Right? Saltburn is a compelling British, option. The British Society did it, but not the ASC. The British Society of Cinematographers was its top four, and then Saltburn. But that's why I feel like the BAFTA is going to be a little bit different. Some might say, "Well, Saltburn is going to take out Maestro." It's like, well, you, you're just doing things based off of nothing. Yeah. But I understand like why Saltburn <laughs> would get nominated. Like, goddamn, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Like, this is kind of what made sense to me all along. Costume design. I think poor things might be Barbie here. Killers. Wonka is getting nominated. Definitely, I think. Do you know mm. how well um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory did at the Baptist? I don't know. I it guess got like five well. tech nominations. Okay. They love Wonka there. It, it, it was like the, one of the highest grossing movies of the year for them. And they liked Paul King and they nominated. They, 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 after the Paddington movies, oh my God, they love Paul King. Mm-hmm. So it, Wonka is a movie you have to watch out in a lot of categories. I think it'll probably well, end up coming up like, on the Wonka categories because I don't think we've encountered them yet. No, right? no, no. Here they are. I think Napoleon mm-hmm. because Napoleon did okay on the short list. Yeah, it's like a big costume movie. Oppenheimer and Maestro were are also contenders here, but I'm just not like quite sold on them. I think this is the five that makes sense, you know, for me personally. Editing, Oppenheimer, Killers of the Flower Moon, Poor Things. I think those will get in. Yeah, and I think Barbie would get in too. Yeah, I do think they will nominate Barbie. And I also think Anatomy of a Fall might get it. Mm, you that, know? that makes sense, yeah. It does make sense. It would make sense that Zone of Interest is getting in if that's going to do a sweep. But, like, maybe we shouldn't be so confident that it's, like, sweeping. I'm not confident that Zone of Interest is going to get every one of the tech yeah. up for. Yeah. I think editing is, like, sort of like an advanced nomination for it. <laughs> and I don't know, I yeah. don't know, like, why I don't think they're going to do that. That's fair, yeah. I think, I think this is good. Although I do think All the Strangers, there's definitely a case for that movie to get an editing nomination really? here. Yeah, well, sure. That's true, yeah. yeah they're they're a crazy editing. montage. I feel like Maestro could happen, too, but I'm not going to overdo yeah. Maestro because I, I think yeah. they'll, they'll nominate it mostly where it's necessary. Makeup, we got Maestro, Poor Things, Barbie... Interestingly, maybe like Poor Things or Barbie wins this. I don't know. I think Oppenheimer makes mm, this is this, you're gonna yell at me for this. I think Wonka will get in, probably, but not guaranteed. And Golda, I I don't know. Why would I yell at you for that though? You're gonna think Golda's in. You're gonna yell at me to put Golda. No, in. not necessarily. I don't think that's that weird. I, I, I think, think they're, they're slightly they're... less out there with their picks than the Oscars, and I feel like Wonka's gonna happen. And I just think the other four make a lot of sense. Yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory got makeup, but yeah. that was a Tim Burton movie, so you know, I you can justify more text for that. Original score: Oppenheimer, Killers, Poor Things. Do they like Pemberton? 
do they like this Pemberton? Matters. I don't know. If, I don't. Why would it? Why would it matter if they like? I don't Pemberton? know. Just because I don't feel like they would nominate Spider Verse. I feel like well, if they British subbed it, it'd be kind of insane. And also, I don't think that the other options on this list are that compelling. What about Wonka? I don't. It's know. It's a musical. Yeah, I know. I don't know. They wouldn't do Indiana Jones, would they? They nominated Rise of Skywalker, but I. Oh I, shit. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't think that. If, look, if they don't do Indiana Jones, we'll be in the clear. If they do do Indiana Jones, we're fucked. What do you mean? We're not, the Oscars, we're not in the clear if they don't do Indiana Jones. Yes, we Jones. are. No, we're not. We actually are. What? Cause, Why? Because <laughs> with the Star Wars movies, he got nominated somewhere for all of them. Somewhere. Yeah. But not necessarily here. But not nowhere. So it, be he nowhere. hasn't gotten any nominations yet? No, not yet. Except okay. for the Grammy. That's it. Useless award. That Grammy. Yeah. Napoleon, we can kind of ignore that. American Fiction. They didn't even like the movie that much. Saltburn is actually possible. Saltburn's a good choice. But I I think it's a little out there. I do think Wonka's the most tempting, but I I actually do think Barbie's going to get it. I really have a feeling about Barbie. Yeah. They like Promising Young Woman. They actually nominated Everything Everywhere, which I forgot. Oh, oh shit. That's like, and then that got the Oscar and we were surprised, but like, and looking back on it, I'm like, Mm -hmm. oh, it did get the BAFTA, didn't it? But I think Barbie is going to get score here. I just feel it. Production design, Barbie, Poor Things. I think that Poor Things might not even beat Barbie at the at BAFTA. You think Poor Things is getting costume and Barbie's getting production design? I think design? that might even might happen. I think Poor Things is going to get production design here. That might happen, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Because I think Barbie's been like... Barbie seems like it's so obvious for production design that I can't even. Killer's Oppenheimer. You're going to do the obvious I think five. Napoleon's possible. I think that Wonka's possible. The Zone of Interest, I want it more than anything. I mean, I do want Asteroid City too. I think that the Zone of Interest might get production design at the Oscars. And if I think that and it doesn't get nominated here, I have no justification for it. Asteroid City, they nominated French Dispatch for three awards. I think that that's fine, and they, the yeah. Critics' Choice nominated this, so. I want Zone of Interest, but I can't quite justify it. Visual effects. This is interesting, and actually, this category is a little subject to change because we're filming this the day before the VES. I think that Oppenheimer will get nominated, and probably Poor Things. Oh, they poor nominated things, right? The Shape of Water, which is what I think that, that Poor Things is, and I mm. won't back down from it. I think the Poor Things is easily getting snubbed for the Oscar. <laughs> the more I look into it, the more confident I am. I'm not fucking getting around. But I think the BAFTA will nominate it. The, the Creator is going to get in. Guardians Three is going to get in. They will. They will easily do that. And then, you know, that's just the fifth slot is, is tricky. Dial of Destiny is possible. Spider-Verse, I just, I don't know for sure. Like, mm. the fact that it has, it got in here and the Oscar short list is very good. I am curious to see if there's any key categories I can look at the VES and see, oh, this movie like overperformed at the VES. Wonka actually could maybe get nominated, but I, I don't know if that's crazy enough. For sound? We're doing Oppenheimer, obviously. The Zone of Interest, obviously. Maestro, definitely. Ferrari is getting in. And, and remember, you, did you realize that Ferrari didn't get uh, editing? It didn't show up in editing. Surprising for BAFTA because they love the Vroom Vroom. Yeah, a little have it in sound. I think they will. And this got the, uh, this got a sound guild. The other sound guild's happening tomorrow. And again, if anything changes in this category, it's probably because of that. Napoleon missed the other sound guild for Killers of the Flower Moon. But I don't know, like, I feel like well, the Oscars would nominate Napoleon Killers of the Flower Moon. has horses, which are a type of vehicle, and we know BAFTAs like vehicles. That's, I don't know if it's a type of vehicle. Well, it's a type, it's technically it's a type of vehicle. The one I'm tempted with is Killers. Killers v. Napoleon. And maybe that Sound Guild tomorrow can change my mind on these two. And that is it. Those are the BAFTA predictions. They will be on the 18th. We will be traveling to Sundance on that day. I don't know what the reaction video is going to look like. What if we do it in the car? Be a fun, icy adventure. You're going to make me crash the car. I can drive it. <laughs> You're not going to crash the car? I'm not going to crash the car. What over... if something happens? Do you, Is there insurance on it? No. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Which international movie do you think the BAFTA will like the best?